Glycerine Melon Slice. That's correct, five months ago me. In this video, we will be collecting one double chest full of glistering melon slices, with a total of 3,456. I'll be honest, most of the time between the videos was a lot of life stuff. A new job, new friends, and being a lot less financially stressed helps a lot with motivation. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so when I do upload, you'll see it. And follow me on Twitch. I try to stream every Saturday between 4pm and sometime after 12am. As long as my internet is working. With all that out of the way, let's begin the journey of a double chest of glistering melon slices. The first thing I did was start to make a melon farm. One of the few ways you can obtain glistening melon slices is crafting them with melons and gold nuggets. Someone called Cap on my no dying ever and I proved them wrong, and unlike most stories, this won't end in a happy ending. Finished a rough draft of what the melon farm will look like. Don't get attached, it changes soon. Obviously had to set up auto storage for it. You can't go without it. Added a bit more and covered it in glass. This will give me at least a stable yeah, income of melons. There you go, it works. Added a layer to the mob farm. Maybe adding more layers will give more odds of mob spawning. I mean, it worked a bit, but not my much. I really need to repair uh, my stuff somehow, though. Uh, then I remembered. I had a spider spawner back in a cave I dug up. I don't remember when I found it, so don't ask how I knew about it. I mean, it works better than the one above ground, but it isn't convenient. I swear I didn't cheat. These diamonds were here before I found them. I promise you, my luck usually isn't this good. I'm starting to believe if I actually am cheating. Made the hole the spiders dropped in deeper. It didn't really work, and I can promise you that I completely <laughs> yeah. dropped the spider spawner project awesome. five minutes later. I used the mob farm at home some more. It had more than one mob in it this time, so that was real promising. Then I got distracted, testing some things in creative mode on a new world. Wanted to do some stuff with turtling yeah, again. Also found out that skeletons were afraid of dogs, which I already knew, but didn't think about it until now. Creative mode. <laughs> uh, I love creative mode. Returned to stacks on stacks and found some dogs that'll be doing some breeding. The, the dogs, I mean. Immediately started the breeding process. I wanted all the dogs and one of them now. I got distracted again and went back to creative mode. I wanted to see if the skeletons will run if the dogs isn't immediately in view, but I almost completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, the answer was no, by the way, just in case you wanted to know. Back to stacks on stacks, I decided to use the skeleton scared AI against it and put the dogs in a ranch far, far away. I mean, the farm corners. Oh, it definitely works. Just look at all the skeletons. Wow, one stream down, it's only been three minutes. At this rate, the video will be a full length film. First thing I did to stream two was head straight to my desert village. Took a ton of wood for me to sell too. I need more stickmen, and I don't care how I get them, as long as they're mine. After some trading, I bought myself a protection for a book, but looking back now, I should have bought mending. Went back home and got a new sword to enchant. I'm planning something crazy, and I bet you know what it is. Put some wild sugar behind my house, 100% cane sugar, my treats will taste a lot better than yours. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm planning. It's been so long since I've done this, but to keep the suspense, I'm gonna keep it this way. I made a third layer to my mob farm. I really wanted it to work. I need the experience with a Shrimness 4 enchant. Finished it up, but I couldn't help the feeling that I was still missing something. I made a long tunnel and sent my render distance to two. I guess I worked a bit, but I still felt like I was missing something. Decided to make a peephole to see if it was clogged, and oh look! It was. I was just thinking about what else I could do. Then it dawned on me. Ports mining is way faster than this. Whoa there, didn't think I was coming into a party. Another idea was to kill a bunch of piglins, which would double as gold collecting. Which worked actually, but the gold jumps weren't the best. Turned the box into a makeshift piglin killer, which works really well for XP. This man was just minding his business when I used block privileges to block him from life. More at 11. Went back to the mining course idea, which I should have done in the beginning. Scratch that, apparently I have one brain cell or just like murder so much that I did some piglin killing again. Added this guy so whatever I want to do this again, I just had to punch a child. Went home and grinded some stuff off for XP, but I still didn't have enough. Let mining so my brain wouldn't explode for being home for so long. Also decided to light up the cave. Maybe it'll help the mob farm. Don't know why I did this in the caves, but it got me to 30 XP. After organizing, I finally enchanted my sword. It only took several hours. Went to the nether and unnethered that guy I buried. If you haven't guessed yet, I'm going to the end, I think. Need to find a fortress first though, and I do not want to die in a fire. And after about 30 minutes, I finally found a fortress. Didn't fortress. even have to eat my god apples, so that's awesome. 
obviously stole all kinds of loot for home. I'll have to collect it someday. Bursting with collectibles, I finally found a blaze butter, collected all the rods I needed, and got lost. Tunneled all the way home, finding a bastion, and collecting a bit more treasure on the way. Marked my tunnels with crying obsidian so I didn't get lost trying to find the fortress again. Made another work for him when I got home. I think you know why. I think I'm the first person, like, ever, after the villager update, that made a brewing stand instead of stealing one. Like, I'm still disappointed in myself. I'm fighting the Ender Dragon soon, and I'll be honest, I've only fought it once in vanilla Minecraft. In better condition. This is my inventory. Marvel at how prepared I definitely am. After some traveling, I found the location of the stronghold, and it really wasn't that far. Took some digging, but I finally got to it, and I'm ready to beat the dragon. Well, I gotta find the portal first. That's the easy part. Well, there seemed to be a lack of mobs, and it was kind of unnerving. Definitely didn't help that it was in a deep dark, but things happen. It took me 30 minutes to find the portal. That was straight ahead from the beginning of the stronghold. That's how stupid I am. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It was a lot easier than I thought. Maybe some biffs here and there, but really the hardest part was hitting the dragon the perch. But that's it. The ender dragon is defeated. I grabbed the egg and headed straight to the end islands. Really wanted that elytra. You know how useful that thing will be? Found it in city, but no ship. That's fine. I went to it anyways. Just look at that loot. A better helmet, a better pickaxe, and a great shovel. Took a bit of traveling, but after looting the place, I went out looking for more cities. Actually, I found three within render distance. Went straight for one with a ship that I liked right in my sights. Yoinked that thing right out of its frame. Now I have flight. Got the achievement for floating 50 bucks from stalkers, so that's cool. Second Elytra okay. obtained. After tons more looting, I decided to go home. About time I've organized everything. Got home and didn't sort any of the shulker boxes. And instead ended stream. Well, I'm done streaming. But I did sort them on stream 3. Grabbed some fireworks and went straight to my desert village for mending. I am not losing my Elytra. There we go. Now I feel less scared of losing it. Huh. I'm here again. Thought I was done. On the contrary, now I have flight to be looting the hell out of these cities. You guys want to see something crazy? Yeah, I'm dying right now. What is wrong with me? Anyway, found a city. And I can tell you right now, this is all I do all stream. Looting the end. Wanna watch? Didn't think so. Oh, if you do, I'll post all my VODs, recordings or not, in my new VODs channel, link in the description. I honestly was hoping that's not all I did the stream, but it was. But look at the loot. Well, I guess I did some enchanting, got infinity, but was looking for Feather Falling 4. Got Feather Falling 3 instead, though. I'll take it. That's it. Wasn't really eventful, I know. Checked on my mob farm stream for it, it worked really nicely. Also checked on my melon farm, that's doing okay, but could be doing better. Decommissioned the enchanting room, I'm planning something, and it involves digging. A lot of it too, had to I'm decommission the cobblestone generator as well, just so I can keep uh -huh. going. Like the stream wasn't that long, but look at the nice hole behind my house. Stream 5, I wasted all of my gold on golden carrots. But by the looks of it, I thought it was the best idea ever. Got myself a shulker box full of night vision potions, like I'd ever use more than 3 the entire time I have them. Checked my mob farm out again, and it's really working well this time. Decided to go mining soon after, well, yes. more like cave exploring, but found diamonds on the way. Look at how many mobs are in here, jeez. After heroically taking care of all of them, I waddled back home to organize myself for the next set of monsters. Did a bit more leveling behind my house, lit it up and walled the top off so no mobs could jump in. Took out the wall behind my chest to open the entire place and put a way to get in and out for those who don't have an elytra. I then went through the grueling process of moving all my utilities to the wall next to the entrance. It took a bit, but I got it done. Wonderful. I'm now back underground, this time for obsidian. Rub some ores along the way too, lots of redstone and diamond ore. Went to the nether after organizing and, oh look, a bastion I found earlier. Yeah, I wanted to finally loot the place. Grabbed an achievement while I was at it too. Also kept hearing this. Yeah, that. <sighs> After that traumatizing event, I made my way to the center and looted one single chest. I mean, I guess I can make another right now. Also grabbed the gold because I need a return on all the golden carrots I made. After that incident, I wanted to go home, but spotted untouched loot and I just couldn't help myself. But the templates, yes, even another right one, into the miscellaneous chest and called it a day. And what a day it was. 
Okay, I'm done for the day. I dug a bit stream 6. I don't remember why. Then I started outlining a 100 by 100 grid surrounding my base. Oh yeah, by the end of one of these streams, the base will be brand new. But well, that's all bases, isn't it? Uh-oh, cut into my sheep farm a bit. None got out, but it was scary. Okay, one got out. But I didn't murder it in cold blood, I promise. Cut out a lot more of the outline, but I still need to get into the hill itself. Let me use this time to say what's up. I hope you all are having amazing lives, no matter where you are. Remember in the beginning when I said I changed a lot? Well, I did. I got a job at a factory, which may sound bad, but it's really, really cool. Better than McDonald's in terms of work, anyways. I was always a happy person, but this job made me even happier. Though I'd like to start my life on YouTube, I know it'll be difficult to do so, so I must have options. Tell me in the comments. How's your life going? I'm not a therapist, but I wouldn't mind reading. Also, I understand I haven't really touched the glistening melon slices, but that's only because I really just wanted to play the game. Anyway, back to the game. Finally cutting into the hill, gonna be using the cobblestone from here for the platform you saw me build. That's right, soon the entire ocean will be sealed away. Oh, and as you see, my farm farm is doing fantastically, really happy about it. At the end of stream, I covered up the bubble elevator from my mob farm. And that's it. Use for information, I know. Stream 7 began with the same thing as 6. Digging. But this time, for a reason. Oh yeah. Ah uh, yes, normal Minecraft gameplay. Nothing wrong at all. Wow, full chainmail zombie looking nice. Only dropped pants, but still a sight to see. Huh, this place looks familiar. Don't be fooled, I'm only here for XP, nothing else. Heavens. Back home, I went down the shaft I made a while ago in the mob farm. Gonna light that cave up. I should have done this ages ago, but I'm really, really stupid. Found out that the cave connects to the same cave that I heroically killed those mobs in, so that's fun. I mean, it looks like it's working, but we'll know for certain soon. Home sweet- Oh my gosh, this is horrible! Uh. Had to dig up my coal supply, which is okay, I needed the torches from my own place. For that, however, I need to get rid of this hill. Got a ton of it done, but I really need torches down, so I went to the other side and started placing them. On. Now look at that, all lit Beautiful. up and organized. Look at that, the mob farm is doing amazing, I'm proud of myself. So I got lazy. Very lazy. I just couldn't take mining for 12 hours again. And it helped a lot too, less mining on my end. Didn't finish it this stream, but I got a lot of it done. I'm gonna stop streaming. Hi. Stream A, I went straight for that hill. Yeah, going for extreme measures now. Not good, but that's because I'm a Neanderthal. I forgot about this guy. What if I just dug him in a hole? Sounds like a great idea past me. Went down into the mines to light it up again. I really want my farm to be at maximum all the time. Of course I had to grab the diamonds. And when I got back up, I finished the hill off and lit it all up. Luke the Nola would be pissed if he saw me breaking a wall. Went to the nether so I could see how my pigment farm does against my normal farm. They're about the same. Then commissioned my melon farm and I'll show you why. Well, first I have to show you the progress I made on the glistening melon slices. There you go. Wow, what a dent. This is why. New farm at the very corner of the plot. No, I don't regret it. Finish the stream off with auto storage so I don't have to think about it ever again. Move my portal, stream 9. I want my plot to look nice and not have the sounds of hell screaming in my ears. Gonna be starting another tree farm up on the hill outside my plot, just so I have plenty of wood. Okay, then I built a house, the but don't get attached. I never liked it. Factory. I am now mining, and I don't know why. Oh, that's right. I'm expanding the plot into the 100 by 100 blocks. No, I won't stop, because I don't want to. And now I'm setting my sights on a piglin farm for gold. I bet you'll love the end results. Had to get more obsidian, though. Ran out. Jenkins Sr. the first. Got one side sorta done. It wasn't really about quality, as I did not know what I was doing. Dug into my gold supply for my glistening slices. It's okay though, I get this stuff everywhere. Sorry for the Smash gameplay in the background, someone's playing Smash in the background. Oh, by the way, I got more slices, so yay! I bet you know what happened next. I also grabbed a bunch of gold stuff in the nether, I forgot how useful this was. Also went back to the bastion and got all the gold blocks I left behind. Found a new chest too and stole its stuff. Didn't find much more, some chests with cool stuff in it, but not much for gold. Got a lot of cool loot though, I'm still happy. I'm gonna hate me in the future, but I meant all the ore I got. It's okay though, since it's one of the three ores that spawns in the nether. But look at that, one sixth of the way done, I am so happy! On stream 10, I got a new graphics card. Can you tell? I can. Yeah, I took down a piglin farm because it was stupid and dumb. 
breed. I tried breeding turtles, but I have no idea what I'm doing. See, it turns out they only lay eggs on their home sand, so I went out and got some eggs to force their home sand. Then I made the doggy barracks. Then it was the waiting game, waiting for these eggs to hatch. I then went to the jungle for some bamboo for farming later. I'm now in the nether, grabbing a ton of these magma blocks. If you haven't guessed yet, I'm making a new piglin farm. This one's more practical, but it'll be more time consuming too. But it's the one I wanted to try. I then made a little box around the egg cage so I can AFK and do something else. Playing some good old Halo, now this is true gaming. I'll only commentate on this stream of Halo unless I find something funny. Went to the online servers and decided on zombies because my favorite one is full. Hey, Started the game with being over, and I got game one whole over. point. I thought this would happen. A spider in Minecraft decided my fun was over for a bit. Until I killed it. I went back to Halo after covering the roof and somehow I was still alive. I'm still alive. Slammed a nerd who was frolicking without his parents. And then I became a nerd for my lack of social skills and this ladder that didn't I ladder correctly. I hate that. Turned Esteban into a nerd. I bet he's seething right now. In this game mode, if a zombie sneaks, he goes invisible, which I forgot until now. Here's some gameplay though, the first round. I died for nothing. Game over. I did nothing for my team. Nothing! And I won! We won. That was my fault. <laughs> I wanted to be an asshole. All the other games were the exact same thing. Me running and killing a guy, then dying a hundred times. It was fun. But this is a Minecraft video, so oh back God. to our normally scheduled Minecraft gameplay. Hey. I got a ton more seaweed, so I can breed more of these bowl makers. Then I got another egg for the right? beep 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 turtles. I, I also made their enclosure bigger, so it's not so enclosed. More eggs! I lied. This is a Halo stream, so it'll stay a Halo stream until I'm happy. But to be nice, only show highlights and without commentary. Uh oh. Game over. <laughs> Bro, I hit him. I heard the noise. Red team has the flag. They don't. Blue team has the flag. Red team, flag return. Red team has the flag. Ooh, he did. He died. Watch, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tank him. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> now this time I changed to Minecraft for the rest of the stream, I promise. Uh, I'm just gonna fly across the map. That's a damn idea to do it there. So, you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, I won't tell you. Hey, I got an achievement from Fear. That. That's pretty cool. It it's okay, I fixed it. And now I'm not gonna die. Then I went to the nether roof, and before the comments get mad for me glitching, let me ask you something. Did I collect anything cool. glitched? No? Then shut up. Now I'm starting on my next big project, the Piglin Farm. I don't know why my portal decided to bring me down to here, but it did, and I relocated it. See, the way I'm doing the Piglin Farm is I want to be way, way up in the sky and AFK there while piglins spawn on these magma blocks. The eggs are for getting the piglins to be attracted to the hole, and there's going to be glass at the top so gas don't spawn. Edit a stream with making a small dent in my progress with glistening melon slices. I'm happy. Next stream, I did a little bit of my usual piglin farming. Grab some more magma blocks too. I'm going to be finishing this AFK gold farm this stream. And that's exactly what I did. Finished it up and topped it off with glass. Not out of glass though, so I'm going to be using slabs too. Be the platform way up in the sky. If I fell, I could probably die. You know what time it is. Yeah. Hey, hey, Halo, baby. Like I said before, I'll only show you the highlights and funny moments to keep it more like a Minecraft video. If you do want to see Halo stuff, just ask. I'm 
I missed. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Ooh. Barely noticed him. Is that my game lags? That's mean. I'm calling the police. Red team has the flag. Me. What a threat. No. Red team. Yes, flag I retreat. got him. Checked out Minecraft okay. for a bit, and why is there a ghast here? Took care of him with its own balls. Now that's gonna hurt. Slapped up any blocks I could find so it doesn't happen again. Now let's check out the goodies. Huh. Not that much. Well, back to Halo, I guess. Man, we let those dumb bugs out to the middle of nowhere to keep them from getting their filthy claws on Earth. But we stumbled onto something they're so hot for that they're scrambling over each other to get it. Well, I don't care if it's God's own anti-son of a bitch machine or a giant hula hoop, we're not gonna let them have it. What we will let them have is a belly full of lead and a pool of their own blood to drown in. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! That was an accident. That's the funniest part. It's just seeing. Get back in. The cavalry Oops. Uh oh. Uh <gasps> He's dead, bro. He's dead. There his gun. And the blood is on him. Someone spit infected. Uh oh. A few hours of Halo 4. Well, what did you expect? Like look at that. Not even a stack of normal gold. I was happy then, I'm not now. And after going home and a bit of unneeded repairing, I ended stream. Stream 12 started with mining more magma blocks. I'm going to be expanding the gold farm, but I'll need more eggs too. While waiting for more eggs to hatch more eggs, I was figuring out how to get a timer on stream. Yeah, why? Yeah, I why not? I had to restart the recording, but I don't remember why. But I'm counting it anyways. All I did was make it back to the piglin farm. Very productive, I know. And now I'm back home. This guy had a mango sapling, and I just couldn't help myself and bought one. Back in the nether again, gonna be changing how the storage works. I used way too much iron for this. Gonna be adding more to the gold farm too, because I always know what I'm doing. I assume this will work, but I used stone walls instead of glass. There's nothing special, just thought it was funny. And now after several minutes, and sadly, more gold, I finished the rest of the farm. Pretty ecstatic. So happy, in fact. It works! I think you know what time it is. I'm playing Halo now. That was stupid of me. Oh, fuck. Fuck, man. Came back to see my farm not working. Didn't really care, though. Went back home and did some more glistening melon slice stuff. Then I went to the Netherlands and stole all of their gold. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I mean a lot of gold. Just look at that. Actually, look at this. Now two six of the way there. Progress is going nicely. Grabbed a bit more for my melon farm in there. A little more like two six. Decided to empty out the mob farm chests a bit so I didn't have to worry about it later. Also made some more dogs because I can. Did a ton of cow and sheep breeding too. Always gotta keep them busting. Ended it off by making one more dog. Now that's beautiful. 
Remember in the beginning not to keep your hopes up about not dying? Well, this is it. And it's stupid too, there was literally nothing I could do. I'm surprised this wasn't on Bedrock either, but it is what it is. Please watch. Huh? When I came back, I was back on the stairway to the end island. And when I looked at the stats, it showed I died once, but I still had my stuff and everything. It's like it both happened and didn't happen at the same time. So weird. Anyway, next stream I finally got to the outer end islands. I guess I just wanted to loot a whole bunch. And loot I did. Just look at that wonderful, delicious loot! Was even able to make this nice looking pair of shoes. And now all of my armor has mending. First thing I did stream 8 was dog breeding. I love dogs! Then did some electro charging. That thing did! Did some platform bordering as well. By the end of the glistering melon slices, you'll be surprised how crazy this area gets. Then I did the actual filling in the area, and I'd be lying if I said this didn't take forever. After a spicy minute, I did some glistening melon slice stuff and dog breeding to help myself from not going insane. And now I'm destroying the melon farm! Yeah, it took a while, I know. And making a new one right next to the doggy barracks. Triple layered too! I'm telling you, this thing is gonna work wonders. Because I didn't want this thing sticking out one block, I decided to use trap doors instead of glass. And it doesn't look too bad. And then I did some mining, got as many ores as I could find. I'm a little proud of the loot I get, don't judge. And then I bred all of my dogs again. Can't wait till I have more. You might see some things different with the game, like the background here. That's because I made my own little texture pack. Gonna be trying to change every item I collect when I get them. First it was the emerald because... Well, you'll see. Soon I'll be changing other stuff, but that won't happen for a second. Started with mining these bull maker eggs, and in fact, I got rid of the entire turtle farm. I didn't want it anymore. I then decided to replace the floor with dirt. Well, not all the floor, but with how this looks, I just might make it all the floor. Then I moved all the cows next to the sheep, so I'll always have animals screaming in my ears when I'm on this side of the plot. A little more progress with the melons. Almost halfway. And now I'm at the village I forgot about, and now you see what the emerald is. I call it the M and Emerald. Like it? And now I'm kidnapping villagers. I think you know where this is going. I made a little house here thinking I was going to put them in here. I didn't. No sir, I'm putting them in the wall like I do with everything else. Now I'm in the nether. I wonder why. Definitely not the advancement, which scared me. But because Sally, Minecraft is about vanity. Nice and cozy, right guys? Stole a belt from the village near mine, probably remember it from the end of Stacks and Stacks Wheat, and now the villagers will breed. Earlier I traded for some glistening melon slices, and now I'm finally putting them here. I'm not slow, I'm just busy. Oh yeah, better the wall makes it home. Jobs are in place too. And now my horse has a proper pen. Very happy with my progress in the base. Next was obviously the nether wart farm. Moved it in the far corner. Next, the house. I hated it since the beginning. Now the zombie room. I put in with the villagers for easy cheap stuff. Now it's fishing. Nice and peaceful. Calm and beautiful. Slower than normal. But I'm okay with that. I needed a name tag for my zombie, and I think I remember there being a mineshaft nearby. Yes sir, right down this hole. First chest only had diamonds in it, second one too, but the third one had a name tag. So I booked it right home, named the tag, and then named the zombie. I love you balls. Aw oh, no, is he playing Halo again? No sir, I'm actually here for the shrooms. Still in the nether, but in the fortress now. If you haven't guessed, I'm going to infect my villagers, but I need blaze powder. By the sound of those sounds, it sounds like I got them. Made a bunch and stuck them in the wall. Infected and healed one guy. Then I actually made a tree farm on top of the hill. And it worked. So I did it again. Of course I did some melon stuff while I waited. Then when the guy healed, it did nothing. Wait, did I do something wrong? Whatever, I didn't just stream there anyways. Made another room for the villager stream 20. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. Healed that villager again and it didn't work. Huh, kinda sucks, but oh well. Did a bit of trading to get my mind off it. Went out for a mending and fortune book on my desert village. Look at this goofy little grindstone. Oh yeah, my axe is healthy as heck now. And now you see why. I'm gonna use it to farm melons in the jungle. Back to fill in the plot hole. I promise this gets done in the end. Had a farm made for more melon trades. Then I had the interesting idea of making a place specifically for Fletchers. Made of their occupation box. Gave up on that and added two more layers to the melon farm. MONEY! Got my farmer up to expert, and now they have a pet chicken. As soon as I got my guy up to master, I infected him and got those good trades. Made a farm inside the place too, so they can auto-populate. That I made probably the worst trade ever. I was proud that day, but now I'm not. 
but then I traded sticks for these guys, like I should have done originally. Oh well, progress is progress. After infecting another stick guy, I could trade for right. more melons, and so I did. It's the end of stream, and I got a bit more stuff done. I'm only a little happy. Expanded the storage in the mob farm first, stream 21. Then I murdered a tree in cold blood. Yes sir, I would love all your emeralds. A bit more slices today, I'm definitely happy about that. Over a stack, actually. I know I'm making a bamboo farm. Finish it up, and it looks like it's working. I swear, every time I come here, there's like two more blocks. Whatever, we're halfway there, basically. It's been forever since I farmed for wheat, but this time for profits. Expanding the bamboo farm, 16 instead of 8. And there we go, 16 bamboo ready to be farmed. I got tons of M and emeralds today. Use them for upgrading another farmer and melons. Now we officially passed halfway, Man, thus halfway ending there. this stream. Stream 22, I decided to add a little more to the bamboo farm. I believe there's 20 now. And just in case I wanted to add more, I put a shulker box in there. Put a potion maker in my villager house so I can have a healer. Then I traded all the rhino flesh I had in the mob farm for emeralds. Started building the Fletcher Palace, but like I said before, I gave up on it. Left another shulker box though. Use my stupid man. brain thinking this is worth it. Used all that. the emeralds to upgrade this guy. Then I killed some trees, saved some trees. It's a win-win for all of us here. Then I yeah, traded I like a lot. Away. Also grabbed some melons and leveled up a guy. And as soon as I could, I grabbed his melons too. And some more. Oh, and his melons too. This is not a good amount, but it's still progress. I really can't melon stop man. making this stupid purchase, can I? But it gets me what I want, I guess. Still not a lot, but it's something. That I did more deforestation for more melons. And even though it was only an hour, I got a lot done. I was talking my past self down, but this is a lot. For now on, these aren't going to be streams. I started a new job and wanted to see how I would play with my hobbies. Also, change the background. Do you like it? Starting with deforestation, like you always should. Excavating that one room in the villager house. I think I want to make it into a bedroom. Nope, it's a job room. Before you say I fooled you, I fooled myself too. Just have to make a spyglass to see what the fuss is about. I actually kind of like it. It's pretty neat. If you can't guess what I'm making now, it's a sheep farm. And I'd be lying if I said this wasn't the rest of the recording. But it was. I'm building another house, and don't worry, I kind of like this one. This was the first brainstorm, but it looks so basic. And now I'm in the nether. I'm going to be mining the bastion I found not too long ago. Honestly, it made me invigorated to mine the entire thing. Maybe I will when I need any of these blocks. I'm back home, and... Well, see what I mean? So bland. I mean, I tried living it up with a quirky roof, but I don't know, man. I loved how it turned out, though, even if it didn't go with the flat look like the plots do. On recording 25, I... <laughs> yeah, see, I'm already taking this down. Oh, you already know I'm going big. What did it go with the more curvy look? Kind of felt right. I mean, just look at this. It's already huge. This is the inside of it, and it is prone to change. Use the rest of the woods for sticks to get some of this guy's melons. Not too much, but these are some short recordings, unlike the next one. Recording 26 started with continuing on the house. The roof probably took the longest time because I just kept running out of materials for it. Finish the main gist of it. I will be changing it, but this house isn't going away for a while. Next was the most difficult part, putting everything outside inside. Mm -mm. Food in his own chest for easy consumption just feels right. Also, I put some music in the background because my dumb self forgot to add sounds. It'll be fixed next recording. And now everything is where I like it. And remember, this will change in the future. Getting rid of the netherworld farm, I will make it once I need it. And now I'm in the jungle. I wonder why. Well, definitely not for sticks. No, I grabbed some spruce while I was out too. I did get a pretty melon though. A little more progress is always nice. Now I'm getting a bunch of acacia wood. Heck, I'm putting all kinds of wood in this shulker box. I'm up to something. I'm even grabbing snowballs. Man, I'm crazy, aren't I? So I have an idea, and yep. it does not involve wood. Yep. Well, it does a little bit. I'm going to be dedicating an area in the work in progress plot for dirt and trees. Gonna need them for projects later. I'm a little embarrassed, but I ran out of dirt. It's okay, there's plenty around. I'm just surprised. I planted the mangrove sapling thinking I knew what I was doing. I didn't. But yeah, all this is going to be used for trees. I grew up the mangrove tree, thinking it was just a normal tree. Also, I've never really seen one in Minecraft yet, so that was cool. I wanted to see if I can get more saplings from the mangrove tree, but only got one. Don't worry, I'm still collecting wood. I'll use the other sapling for more saplings, but you didn't get any of them this time. Back to melons! And I'm still making this trade. And now I'm going to do a mansion. I got this map a while ago, so I might as well use it. Five minutes. And I paused for like two of those minutes. I'm in. I found an armor trim, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't go in this normally at all. I broke every wall I could find. 
Found the melon room, let's go! Snapped one evoker, it was tough though. Then I murdered a second, that one was fun. This is the part where I wish I had noise, but alas, was instead a pain in my rear. You can see I was scared, spooked, I didn't want to die. I was on my last life and this literally came out of a movie. Finally put away those melons I got, and now I'm going out again. I wanted to find a mangrove swap, and I didn't know how rare- oh. Never mind. Finally learned how the saplings worked. Oh, I grabbed as much as I could. When I got home, I planted the heck out of those saplings. And now I'm in the desert guiding cactus, and yes, this does go with the wood I've been getting. Even grabbed some clay, and I never get clay. If you haven't guessed it yet, I'm going to be building an entire village. This entire plot is going to be blocked off to the world, and it's going to have all types of villagers, occupations, and trees too. The snowy one I had the most trouble with. I've been trying to go with a theme these first houses, but there are no snowy stairs or slabs. I used top snow instead, but that comes with the risk of it melting, but I'll take that risk. I've also been lining up the plot so no mobs will spawn. Well, do you like it? I'm making a new plot right where my trees and melon farm are. It's mostly so I can use the dirt and stuff I get from my other projects. Next is getting rid of all these trees, which is gonna be easy. Yeah, I went straight for fire. This is like the most fun you could have in Minecraft. Now it's just flattening it out. Finally finished filling the plot. No holes at all. I'm making a new chest room. Well, more like bulk chest room. It's going to have stuff I get tons of, like dirt and cobblestone. Then I grabbed a silk touch shovel and grabbed a bunch of that fresh grass from the hill. Finished the recording off with flattening the plot more. I told you this was a long one. We have sound! Recording 27 started with me walling off the villager plot. Finally got rid of the quote unquote Fletcher's house. Afterwards, I checked on the wolf farm and lucky there, works like a charm. Then I wanted to try out something different on the mob farm, but that didn't go well. Now I'm replacing all of the cobblestone in the villager plot with dirt. I want to make a village, not a prison. It's all I did recording 27, but I think it's because OBS crashed. Recording 28 starts with covering the ground with dirt. Then I did some planning on the new plot, but really I ran out of dirt. So it's just me going back and forth from here and there. See, told ya, right back to dirtin'. I mean, I repaired my stuff when needed, but that's pretty much it. I got a ton of it done though. Oh, I went straight for that hill recording 29. Completely finished the village plot. I felt proud of myself after that. But we aren't finished yet. Well, I gotta make it look nice. Minecraft is about vanity. I'm making a new building, the first occupational building. And although I got so much sandblocks, I ran out of smooth sandstone, so I stole some from the village I stole the bell from. See, I was thinking, I had so much sandstone, I should use it. So what would be the best thing to make that involve sandstone? Embarrassing, but this time I ran out of cobblestone. How? You'll find out. This is how, yes, I'm making a masonry because I felt inspired by the masonry I have here in town. Put down the stone cutters, but something just feels missing. Decoration! That's what it is. I want it to be a workplace, not a prison. Probably the first time of taking bamboo out of the chest, and for sticks nonetheless. But hey, melons are melons, and progress is progress. Now I'm in the nether, and I can't say why. Not because I don't remember why, but because this gold told me not to. Oh, and I got a lot of gold too. You didn't hear that from me though. And I have a ton of melons on the ready. Now this is what I call progress. So I'm doing it again. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it would be funny to hit one too, but they just kept coming and coming. Look at how much more gold I got. Went straight for my melon farm, which I still have more ready. So, so, so much closer. I'm both stoked playing and editing. Time to move the villagers. Took a hot minute, but I got two in, and now I'm making a farm. I just took some crops from the wall villages. In fact, I took everything down. I didn't want any loose ends tied to me. I won't be closing these doors this time. They're all free. And now I'm making another building. I thought a nice mixture would be jungle and mangrove. What do you think? This part kind of makes my brain happy. You know, they're called apartments because it doesn't matter how much you pay into it, it'll never be a part of you. I'll put some beds in the masonry because it kind of makes sense in Minecraft. And now I'm running out for jungle wood because I ran out of jungle wood. I don't know, what do you think? I feel like it's missing something. Well, all apartments do. Expanded the farm, but sideways instead of forwards. And now I'm making something huge. Really huge. Don't try figuring it out. I'm trying to make an observatory for the cartographers, but it isn't going well. That iron golem is lonely enough. I'm letting him free. Back to the nether. I'm motivated to get this thing done. 
I took some obsidian while I was out because I wasn't planning on going back to the main portal. But since I was in the area, I started splunkering for gold in the caves. Man, I'm everywhere. Now I'm in the mesa next to my desert village. Back to the nether, I'm really motivated to get this done. So motivated, I started using my elytra in the nether, asking for a death wish. I found like 7 fortresses until I found the bastion. Check the VOD, I promise. Took a second, but look at all the nice loot I got. Found another one while looking for another one. This one has exposed gold blocks. Looted it, and now I'm heading home. Oh hey, that's neat. Wait. Found a mesa while heading home. And some gold, yes! Found a ruined portal too. That's a couple more gold blocks right there. It took me like an hour to get home, and I couldn't use my elytra halfway through. You best know where I'll be for the next 20 minutes. Put the gold ore in my furnaces and made a bunch more gold melons. So many, in fact, that... Ooh, so close! Thankfully, I had melons in my food chest. I combined them with the gold in the furnace and... Boo! Just so close! Seven more! Okay, okay, I got it done. There. Glistening melon slices is done. It's complete. I never have to see it again. For now. And before you wander off, we have one more thing to see. The next item. Bamboo fence. Bamboo fence won't be too difficult, I hope. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing. I put a ton in Minecraft Stacks and Sex videos. This project means so much to me. I mean, I've done so much for this world, and all it took was some crazy challenge for me to try Minecraft for what it is, a sandbox. This means everything to me, and no amount of thanking you for watching, it's going to show how much I appreciate you for watching. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell too, I post other stuff as well, on Saturdays. Right now I'm doing Monster Hunter World one week and Terraria the next. I also stream every week, always on Saturday or Sunday. Well, it'll be a lot of Sundays too since I gotta do this now. But for now, and until next time, have a great day. Goodbye. I'm going to be... Collecting a lot of this. Or I'm gonna be uh...